So I'm back at my uh, neglected overwintered hives. Uh, so a couple weeks ago, I put a couple supers on this because I knew I was gonna be busy. Not necessarily because I thought I was gonna be catching a, a great spring flow, but because uh, I don't want this to swarm if it gets big. Uh, and I don't necessarily want to split because I want to use this for production hive. And if you split your hives, you're kind of taking them out of the uh, out of action for, for honey production. Um, so, so that's what we did. So we're gonna go in today uh, check on what she's doing. If she's laying in the in the supers, I'll I'll get her down. I got a hun uh, queen excluder just in case, um, and uh, we'll just take a look and see what's going on. I don't see a lot of action up here. So yes, nothing going on in this top one, but and not a lot going on down here either. That's okay. I could pull a couple of these just to see, but if there was eggs on it, there'd be bees all over these. So I don't think she laid up here. Uh, we got a lot of cold weather after our little warm spot. So I like when I can say, I told you so. Uh, so I still have my hive cozy on because it's not bothering me at all. Uh, I haven't been down in my deep this time if I find that she's got brood all across the top I might uh, end up going down in the deep but we got to see I'm going down in the bottom deep um, to uh, maybe I'll give this a little bit of smoke <clears throat> just because the textbook said to got pollen patty so I don't think I'll be replacing that that's a honey super um, oops get this out of our way this one's all honey too we're not getting into it I don't think we see much change from last time A lot of bees down bottom. So looks like some fresh nectar they put in. But nothing there. Now we got uh, brood capped. Looks like some of this is hatching out, uh, emerging. Uh, queen cell but I don't think that's anything that they're using I got eggs in there A small little patch now I got all all size larva uh, What's that? Queen's on your uh, right. Oh yeah, there she is. Connie Olin Dark. Uh, red dots worn off. Uh, so she's doing good there. She's... Uh, I think we're going to see a little bit more more brood than we saw last time, but, but nothing much to change what I've done. Look at the large larva. Uh, some of those drone cells so they're busy all size larva it's wet that's they we haven't been eating that pollen patty uh, so I don't think this is gonna be a very exciting inspection because there's not much we're gonna change that that uh, cold weather that we got kind of slowed us down a little bit so that we didn't we didn't see much change. There go my glasses, but I've already seen eggs in, uh, in the queen, so uh, I don't think I'm going to change much with this. I'm going to put it right back together the way it is and go another week. Nice frame of brood. 
Uh, so we see a little more brood than we did did last time. Uh, I could go into the bottom, but I kind of know what I'm going to find here. I might find a little bit of brood, a lot of empty frames, and so I'm going to uh, I'm going to stay right with with what I got. And there's just a honey frame that looks like it's either fresh or nectar, maybe uh, that they're bringing in and, and storing there. Not in the not using my supers, which is fine. Um, so does she have empties? That's pretty solid. Is this the one the queen was on? Uh, she's got she got this one all filled up too. Um, mm -hmm. This one's filled. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind having an empty frame in here. And so I could go down to the bottom. But we're supposed to have some more cold weather. And I think I'm going to just leave it alone just the way it is. <laughs> if I uh, if I thought she was a little more full of brood, uh, see this frame's pretty much empty. She could use this one. So, and this one is too. So, um. I might have taken my hive cozy off, but for now, with a couple cold days that are going to be coming up, I'm going to leave things alone. Uh, I'm not ready to do splits yet. I don't really want to split this one if I don't have to. Um, except, I may do something in the future, but that's, uh, that's another little project. So, uh, I'm going to give her a pollen patty back. And uh, there's still honey, there's nectar in there. Um, so, I'm not going to feed but pay attention to your hives. All the hives differ. Uh, we've had a lot of cold weather. After we, that warm, warm spot we had, you, you may have to feed, you know. Especially if you see your pollen patty and it's all dried out and desiccated, uh, that means they're sucking the sugar water out of it. Uh, and that means they're looking for, uh, looking for sugar water. So uh, don't let your bees starve now. That's, that's just, uh, and, and it can happen. Um, make sure they got, got food if they need it. Uh, otherwise, uh, we'll see you see you next week, and uh, maybe I'll uh, check on a different hive. It might be a different thing, a different situation. We'll put another video together. Uh, so, till next week.